Hi everybody, Rita here with Jimari Scrap Shack. Here we go. This is the one I've been working on the last several days. <laughs> uh, this is a special one for my friend Nadine. Uh, when I first started making junk journals, Nadine bought one from me that was um, so pretty. <laughs> I loved it. So when you're trying to outdo the first one, this is what you come up with. <laughs> Nadine wanted a junk journal that she could write about all three of her grandchildren. And I let her pick her favorite stamps out of my collection. And these are the ones she chose, so I put them on the cover and inside the book. And on the spine of the, the spine, this is the spine. I was calling this a spine. <laughs> when you're looking at it, I put three dangle charms uh, for her to put pictures of her three grandchildren. So... Yeah, this is what it looks like, the whole cover, you know, the outside cover. Uh, I just started with a piece of cardboard, and I cut out, you know, a cover for the front, the spine, and the back, and then I, I sewed it to another piece of cardboard, so it would be um, not flimsy, but just, um, you know, real durable, and then... I just wanted it flimsy where, you know, the book opens up, so I sewed it to that. And then the rest is just, excuse me, the rest is just the stamps with a uh, different color ink. Some of them are colored in, so, yeah. <laughs> and on the inside of the cover, I, um, I don't know if you could tell, but it had a bunch of pieces of just scrap paper basically mod podged and then I put a library pocket here with some botanicals that I painted um, all three of her grandchildren have uh, special colors in their signature according to their birthstone Allison she called Allie uh, hers was uh, amethyst so I put a big daisy right here um, cut dyed out of die cut out of uh, purple paper and then I colored it in. And then the second signature is for her second granddaughter, that um, Amanda. And I think they call, I think she said she calls her Doodlebug. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I hope this is right. And um, her birthstone is sapphire. So I put blue for the second flower. And then her third grandson, um, his name is Gabriel. And she said she calls him Baby G-R-R. -R. Like, probably like grr, you know. <laughs> Anyway, I thought that was cute, so I put each signature with their little nicknames on it, and the library card has a, you know, a colored plant. And then, um, on the library card, I told her I thought it'd be really cute to, like, as if the kids checked out the book, and we put their birth, their birth dates right here. So, it says Allison, but, you know, basically she was born February 8th of 2013, Amanda, September 26th of 2017, Gabriel, May 14th of 2019. And then I, I just put the, this book belongs to here, and um, Nadine can write her name. But I put her as the author, and the title I put it as Believe Junk Journal, because this is the Believe, and that kind of stood out as the title. So this is the one I'm calling Believe. Okay, so that's that. Kind of explains that a little bit. She said Allie likes mermaids, and... Um, what else did she say she liked? Um, uh, unicorns, and I believe she said rainbows. And, yeah, and I think she said she calls her her little lamb. So when I was going through my, uh, this one book that I use, you know, from time to time, it had this beautiful lamb on here. So I put a little bit of this flower here. So if her granddaughter wants to touch it, it kind of feels like she's petting a lamb. <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of silly, but yeah. Um, all the stamps she picked out, I put on the card, um, you know, in the book somewhere. Some of them are on the tags. And she also said she wanted it to be about coffee. And so I have a lot of little things that I've done with coffee journals, you know. And so I, I put a lot of that kind of stuff in here as well. And faith. So I put uh, anything I could find with that, you know, had coffee or faith or about her grandchildren's likes and dislikes. 
you know, like she calls her her little lamb. So I put another little lamb here and there's the little rainbow with clouds, a little stamp I had. I didn't have a lot of little kid stuff, but what I did find I think is just gorgeous. Here's one of those flowers out of my mom's, my mom's garden. Can you see that what I did? I laminated it and then made a window. Sorry for the glare. The window's open and yeah. <laughs> Anyway, each one has a pocket and a little tiny book of, of scraps for another little place to journal. I like including those. I think they're super cute. So, you know, since this one's Allie's and her birth's known as Amethyst, I made it that color. And since it was about coffee, it's got a little paint chip that says Swiss coffee on one side. And on this side, it says my birthstone is a coffee bean. I know. I'm I'm funny. I, I just thought that was so cute. I have this one friend and she's always on Facebook putting um, coffee stuff because she loves coffee. This one just says, you're cute and all, but I'm not sharing my coffee. I thought that was cute. Here's another one with a Bible quote. This is um, Toonami Rose and some favorite scrapbook paper I have. Here's another one. I can't remember. I think that was a piece of a, a scrapbook paper as well. I liked it because it said faith. A life without dreams would be just a life. This is some more of that real pretty um, scrapbook paper, I think. I can't remember if that was a digital. might have been. I don't know. Anyway, it's an old doily. Here's one of those little charms that I'm sending her the little epoxy covers that when she puts the pictures of her grandchildren here she can glue the epoxy on there so it'll all be sealed in and nothing will fall out. Because um, Allie likes rainbows and I got this from my sweet friend Carrie Kale, this trim. I thought that was so pretty with follow your own rainbow. I don't know if the, if the camera picks it up but that has such a sweet little <laughs> rainbow glitter effect. I don't know if Anyway, this is just, you know, a uh, punch, and then I punched out the different colors and cardstock and glued them on there for a belly band that looks like a rainbow of flowers. I hope this is showing up. There's a, a cross here, and this was a music paper that said the old rugged cross. Another little coffee thing. Friends are the cream in my coffee. Cute little tuck spot. A doily. God's timing is perfect. More ledger paper. Cute little thing I had that said, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And on the strings, this one is a cross. And this one just says, Hugs and Kisses. Amazing Grace. I think she said that Allison's middle name is Grace. I could be wrong. <laughs> Can't remember. That's my that's my granddaughter's middle name too. Harley Grace. I left her lots of room in here for pictures and for her journaling because she does want to write about her grandchildren. And yeah. Stamped. I just colored in. Pocket. Another tag. These are tsunami rose tags. Decaf only works if you throw it at people. <laughs> oh, decaf coffee only works if you throw it at people. Good Lord, I messed that one up, huh? A little angel right here. A uh, cute little tag. Somebody sent me these in Happy Mail, and I love them because they're so sturdy. And then this is just a little brown bag with a butterfly. Um, Michelle Mulligan <laughs> sent me something and this, in, uh, she sent me one similar to this in mine. So it inspired me to make these for my friend Nadine. Um, I made three of them, uh, with the hearts in book page. It's just colored in with a marker, but it's the colors of their birthstones. And then, you know, the lid is done on book page as well. And uh, I believe these all say something about the Lord or you know, something sweet. I, I I don't have time to read all of them right now, but each one has one of those. These are just some old rusty ones, and I think I think I just broke that one. I may have to fix it. Then we get to Doodlebug's page. Pretty sapphire blue. Uh, faith does not make things easy. It makes them possible. Just a tag I made out of some old book page, and um, this is a digital 
God, I can't remember whose it is. I'll do the best I can, you know. I, I have so many, you guys. Sometimes This is all just going through all my junk pile. And I call it a junk pile because, you know, if I don't... If I don't use it when I uh, do one book, I will definitely, you know, use it the next time. And it's just in the pile of junk. This is just some old coffee-stained paper and some old um, coffee-stained um, doilies. Uh, there was a mistake right here. So I wanted to cover it up and... That's what it turned out like with a little doily tuck and a real pretty little bird. This was sent to me from Carrie. Thank you, Carrie. I told you I would use it. It's beautiful. Uh, this is a card somebody sent me in Happy Mail. And I glued it in here. I like. I thought the two little granddaughters was just adorable on that. And it had a little saying on the back of the card, but I put it on this side. How precious also are they, thy thoughts unto me. Oh God, how great is the sum of them. And it has um, Psalms 139, 17, King, King James Version. She liked this, this stamp right here, so I put it in there for her. A uh, little quilted heart. Um, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Just another little tag I thought that would match with this pocket. This is a digital. And here's the other, uh, a little wooden heart here. And here's the other book. You know, this one's for Amanda. And it's in blue, sapphire. Kind of a jewel charm. Excuse me. Beautiful tag. Um, I forget who makes this digital. I think it's Diane Shaw. Oops, somebody's texting me. Sorry about that, guys. This was sweet because um, it's old music paper, but um, I liked it because it said piano pieces for children, and since, you know, she's going to be writing about her grandchildren, I thought that was neat. Here's another one of those flowers that my mom um, sent home with my son. I, I wish the glare wasn't so bad. I wish you guys could see it better. It's so pretty. I wonder if I move that. If you could see it. And so I made a little window. <laughs> and when you open this up, you know, and she could tuck something back there. Sometimes you need to drink some coffee, put on gangster rap, and just handle business. I thought that little girl was adorable. Yeah. Anyway, getting back to this. Hopefully this is a... I should put that there to get rid of that glare. I usually try to do that. <coughs> anyway. I put some old rusty uh, paper clips in here to make it look more vintage. God's love never fails. I only need a cup. I only need a coffee on days ending with the letter Y. <laughs> like I said, I left her lots of spaces in here to journal. This one just says memories. It has a cute little camera, and this one says made with love. Here's a cute little digital of uh, Raggedy Ann and Andy. I just put that back here so she would know what size picture to put behind the, the window frame. Pray wait and trust just another tuck spot this is a cute little envelope i made this morning while i was talking to michelle i made it out of a tea bag just has a little piece of paper in here to journal on she could always put anything in here that she wants to and then i put this little mouse here she picked that she liked that so i just put that there so she could kind of tuck this behind it and it would kind of hold it closed Yeah, this is really a huge book. <laughs> it took a while. I, I kept thinking I was done, and then I kept wanting to add some more stuff to it, and I was just like, oh my gosh, am I ever going to finish this darn thing? But I like the way it turned out, and I hope that um, Nadine likes it too. Here's the one with the blue on it. This is just a pretty piece of paper I got out of another book. I love you more than coffee, but please don't make me prove it. Here's another one of the little girls that she wanted. I just... <laughs> Some, yeah, I was getting so tired at the end of this, I was like, I don't know where to put this, and I'm just going to throw it in there, and she can move it and put it, paste it wherever she wants it. This was just a ballet band that I made with some of the, the fibers that uh, I received in my last Happy Mill. Thank you, you guys. You guys send me so much stuff, and I just, I love it. I just put some pretty little tags in here. We're getting to the... You know, the th this is the last signature right here for baby Gabriel. 
I love this. I've seen it and I had to put it in here. I hope she likes it too. It just says, being a mother is the most important job in the world, but being a grandmother is the most fun. And that is the truth. Here's the little puppy. She said that he liked dogs and trucks. And for some reason, I couldn't find my trucks. I have, I have a bunch of little truck stamps and I couldn't find them. I thought this was so cute. I smell coffee. <laughs> it's just a little flip up. There's another little coffee cup. <sighs> I think, I put, did I put that one in there twice? It seems like I just read that one already. Oh, well, maybe I'm backtracking. I don't know. Here's, the, here's the, the third little book, and this one was for Gabriel with the green pretty color. It says, be known for your kindness and grace. I don't really have a plan. I, I rely solely on caffeine and weirdness to get me through the day. This is so my motto. <laughs> I'm not even joking. <laughs> oh, gosh. A couple more tags. This one just says, uh, whatever you do, do everything for the glory of God. This one said, if you look deep enough, you will see music. The heart of nature being everywhere. Music. I thought that was pretty. It just reminded me of the birds, you know, singing and yeah, so I put that there. This this was sent to me in Happy Mail, and I thought it was so beautiful. I had to put it in, in here for Gabriel because of all the greenery and those buttons were just so adorable. It's kind of a belly band, but... You know, if she wants that glued down, she could always glue it down. This just says, I love you. Here's another little teddy bear. Another little tuck spot right here. Encouragement to prayer. You know, to um, encouragement to prayer. And then a um, bunch of cute little stuff in here. Pages that I thought were just beautiful or that went with it. So, Jesus carries our burdens. A little tuck spot. Mm -hmm. I know, someone's texting me, I'm so sorry, that's rude, huh? The coffee cups are up here, and my blood type is coffee. I thought that was funny. <laughs> it's kind of funny. <laughs> Be still and know that I'm God. And this was so beautiful, and it looks like little boy's hands. That's why I put it in Gabriel's page. Oh, Nadine, I hope you love this. <laughs> this just says blessed, and it has the little floating heart right there. Um, today is a, a multiple cups of coffee kind of day. I put a tiny little envelope right here, and when you pull this out, it says, Ways to Win My Heart. Buy me coffee, make me coffee, and be coffee. And it opens up for all her journaling needs. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's super cute. I love the little tiny stuff. I hope Nadine does too, because... And I know Nadine likes red. She didn't mention it this time, but I remember when I made her first one, she said she liked purple and red. So um, when I saw this red coffee cup, I had to put it in here. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, yeah, it's got all the, um, you know, Christian music, like Rock of Ages, cleft to me. Here's the last and final um, jar. Thanks a latte. Lord, give me coffee to change the things I can. And music to accept the things I can't. I thought that was cute. Cute little heart in here. Um, give it to God and go to sleep. <laughs> All men should make coffee for their women. It says it right there in the Bible. He brews. <laughs> I thought that was cute. Here's a little um, thing I put in the envelope. Do everything with good heart and expect nothing in return, and you will never be disappointed. I like that little heart I showed right there. More green for Gabriel's pages. There's a little dandelion. Life is what happens to us while we are making other plans. It's just a little flip up right there. This cute little lady. Flowers for sale. <laughs> Life begins after coffee. Just a flip up. I love you a latte. <laughs> Beautiful green trees. There is no easy way from the earth to the stars. I thought that was so pretty. That's just my reminder telling me that I've already spent 19 minutes trying to make this video. I always really try super hard to keep them under 20 minutes, so that's my warning. <laughs> this is kind of just a little funny for her. Uh, I assume this means you want coffee because she's acting so dramatic and he's carrying her. And because that was there, I put this little thing in here that says, Carried, you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. And that's in Matthew 11, 29 and 30. I thought that was kind of funny. Just a little giggle. Uh, faith makes all things possible. 
And then it's got this little card that I'm been including in my um, has some vintage wallpaper back here. Cute little card there, and it says "All because two people fell in love." And I just she wanted this in their book, and I thought, you know what? I need a pocket in the back. I'm going to use that last stamp on the last page, and I thought that was so beautiful because when two people fall in love, what do they do? They have a family. They have they make children, and this is her grandchildren. But I just thought that was special. Thanks for watching, everybody. Um, please leave me comments. I hope you like it, Nadine. <laughs> Have a great day.